Hello everyone, and, to, and this is the final countdown. Today we have a tutorial on how to make a fruit game for Game Maker. If you see, I have the Game Maker like uh, program right here. We'll be making a basic fruit game, basic um, that's like for starters. Um, I don't have the full version, so I use light. Light is just as good. There's no real difference to me. Um, if you notice right here, you have sprite, sound, background. Um, if you are new to Game Maker, you might want to hit File and take Advanced Mode off. Um, so it gets you down to pretty much the basic things you'll need. Um, I I prefer to be in Advanced because I know lots more of the different stuff. But uh, if you are now starting, just check off Advanced. So to basically even begin, you have to have sprites. Sprites are basically the image, like Pac-Man. Sprites were the tic tacs. Think of a tic tac as a sprite. Think of Pac Man as another sprite. And think of the walls also as sprites. Basically, everything's a sprite or an image. These images are placed and have different functions, just like in Pac Man, as in the Pac Man sprite, you could move it and it would eat. The tic tacs gave you points, and the ghost ate you, and the walls kept you from leaving the game. So basically, that's what sprites are. So we're going to add a few sprites. There's a little red Pac-Man. You can click this to add a sprite. Or you can go to resources, resources, create sprite. What you will do first is hit load sprite. Um, when I first loaded sprite, it didn't, uh, it didn't find it. So you might have to go to computer, your C hard drive, program 86, go down till you find Game Maker 8, click on it. You want to go to Sprites Tutorial 1 because we are in uh, basic and get the wall sprite. You want to hit open, you want to rename the sprite wall down slash SPR and hit OK. Sprite 0 you can delete, it's not needed. So all you want to do is keep doing that. You want to load Sprite. I'm going to load the Apple. I'm going to name it Apple down slash SBR. I'm going to load up the bomb. And this is just all the basic ones I'm going to use. You can get fancy and use the other ones. I'm just preferring the bombs for now. And that's what I'm going to do. So next, what we're going to do is basically... Right now, all we have is images. We need to make these images do things. So what we're going to do is you're going to come to this little blue ball, or you can go to resources, create object. But uh, it's faster to just click the little blue ball, click it, and you want what you'll this will pop up. You want to see right here where it says sprite, no sprite, new. You want to see you want to click this icon right here. It's a uh, like a kind of it's like my cursor clicking on this and you want to select wall sprite you want to now hit solid and then hit ok so when you uh, first originally go like this and click the wall this will be unchecked check solid and hit ok now would you now um, what I forgot to do you also want to rename this wall down slash obj Hit OK. Now that wall down slash object, OBJ stands for object, SPR stands for sprite. Now you would want to click the blue ball or hit resource create object and you will click the same thing and get your apple. You want to just name this apple down slash OBJ. So now this is where we start to get to what the apple does. You hit add event create to create an event and you want to drag the very first move button it's red and it points in all the directions this is basically telling you when the game starts that pretty much your your strawberry or your apple or your cherry will not just sit there is when the game starts it will move into other directions so that the game is harder and you have to click and you have to be very you have to time it perfect so all you want to do is select 
all of the outside runs. Do not select the middle or basically it would just stay in one position because it would stay centered. Just select the outside runs. You can set it to 5 for speed. I'm going to use 8. And if you check relative, basically the speed will increase as you click on them. But just leave it unchecked for now because this is a tutorial for like newer beginners. You just hit OK. So now what else you might do is you want to add event collision. So let's say you collision with the wall. You want to right over here where it says jump. You want to hit. You want to drag a bounce. You just hit OK. So basically all you want to do is drag a bounce and then hit OK. You want to add another event and it's the same collision except. Oh no, you don't want to. You want to add a mouse. Left press. And on the left press. When you left press, you want to hit score, drag in one of these square with three orbs, and give it some points. Also, do not forget to check relative. Sometimes you may mistakenly not check relative. If you do not check relative, every time you click an apple, the only the first one will count. You have to check relative for them all to count and the points to increase. Hit OK, and you've just set up your apple. Then you just hit OK. Now you want to go right back to the blue orb. Load up your bomb. You want to name this bomb. Now slash OBJ. You want your bomb to be just like your apple. Add event. Create. And you don't want it to stay positioned in the very beginning. You want it to move. So just do the same thing you did to your um, do the same thing you did to your apple, uh, do not select the middle one, and add a speed. I pick 5 because it's slower, so I'll have a less chance of hitting the bomb. You can make that higher. Um, next, what you want to do is if the, bo if the bomb were to collision with the wall, right? You would want it to bounce, go to jump, drag a bounce, and then hit OK. You want to add an event again. And this is the one where it can also collision with the apple. You want to do the same thing. Go to jump and drag a bounce. And hit OK. Now, to finally sum this bomb up, you want to hit add event. If it is left pressed, you want to go to main 2. And right down here where it says game. So main 2, game. You'll see restart game. Load game. Save game load game and then this one is end game so end the game if you click the bomb and then hit ok so now we have pretty much our sprites and what the sprites will do now we have to create the map and we have to put them inside the map so think of creating the map as like you know how the people create call of duty maps they create game maps halo maps they create mine you have a minecraft map Think of this as creating a fruit game map. You can either click the create a room. Well, the room is a map. Basically, just think of room as map when you're in Game Maker. So you want to hit the create the room right here next to the blue ball to the right. Or resource, create room. Now you would love... Now you would just open this up. It's a full screen and basically have the full grid and now you will click right here where the bomb is and click wall obg so if you look down here if i add shift instead of going one two three i can hold shift and pretty much just do this and you know make my wall but now see to, to delete see how i messed up i can hold shift and right click and delete it perfectly easy just right click or you could just singly right click or just shift and right click so let me delete all of that now I'm gonna left click shift scroll down I don't like the mess up that I made right there left click shift and drag it again
And here we go. We're about to complete the final line. And ta da! We have our map. Now we need to add the apples into the map. So we'll go here, select our apples. And now just put the apples pretty much anywhere and everywhere. You can shift and drag tons of them. I'm going to just add a few to these so that the game is absolutely not cluttered. And basically, when you click an apple, you get points. Finally, you want to add your bomb. And you can just add the bombs pretty much anywhere, just like your apples. Maybe I should add some more apples. I'll put some bombs in there. Right? Basically, you add bombs just like your apples. And you can left click them, or you can shift and click them. It doesn't matter. So basically, you have your basic game. Now, hit the check mark. I said these. These, there are instances or tiles outside the room. Should I remove them? Um, yes, you don't want those outside of the box. But now you have room, room zero. You can actually uh, just, that's it. And just check. Come hit this red mouse key. And the game should load up. And. One, give it a minute. Voila! So let me try to click an apple. So I got five points for clicking an apple. I'm gonna try and click one again. Ooh. Oh god. Okay. Super hard. Okay, hit one. That see, I hit another one. I got ten. So let's say I didn't add relative. These apple these this score streak would have stayed at five if I didn't have relative activated. Basically, it would have never added the points that I got. It wouldn't have keep increasing. Ooh, I'm starting to get them now. So now, let's say I mistakenly click a bomb. So I'm going to check that bomb now. The game will end. That is the end game if I click a bomb. Now, that was the Final Countdown's basic tutorial for the fruit game end game maker. Tune in later into the, into the school year. And this is the Final Countdown, signing out.